Hey guys, Fry the Frowligator here, and I'm back again with just by, by myself. And a while back, I got a Austin Powers Gold Member figure in box. Unfortunately, I came to discover that the box is uh, kind of falling apart here. So, I figured today we're going to do unboxing, and I'm going to try to review him. He looks pretty excited about it. Um, I don't know much, well, I don't remember much about Austin Powers or anything, but I do know, like, the whole series, I think it's, it can be considered, like, the whole Austin Powers trilogy, or, do they have three or four movies? Anyway, um... This is a Austin Powers gold member figure by Mezco. Like you can see the little like Austin Powers flea ant thing, whatever that is. It's cool. Um, and a couple other figures in the line. You have Doctor Evil and uh, Mini Me. You have the '70s Austin Powers so that would be cool to have. You have gold member, which I currently have. Um, Carnaby Street Alston, and one of the better ones is Fat Bastard. Um, they can't obviously, they obviously cannot say like Bastard on here, but um, yeah, Fat Bastard. He looks pretty cool. All of these are pretty cool. I wish I could find like um, Doctor Evil or the seventies Austin, but anyway. Um, Another interesting fact is that they still have the AOL symbol here, so that kind of gives you um, some perspective on how old this thing is. It's uh, copyright 2002 Mezco. So, um, yeah, let's get cracking. This is the fun part about opening figures. Alright. First on the back, I noticed there is, I think this is a stand. And of course that's in like friggin' bubble wrap or whatever this is, the plastic. You see, figures are meant to be played with. I can kind of cover that up with um, the fact that if the box is damaged, I am going to open it. And, yeah. Or if I like the figure. Alright, so here's the cool little stand. It has a G for the gold member, I'm assuming. I'm also assuming that if you get, like, Fat Bastard, it will have, like, FB or Dr. Evil or whoever. But that's pretty cool. It's pretty big for, like, a small figure. And, uh, taking it out of this, the second sleeve. Go ahead and put all my garbage in that. And the fun part about figures is the stupid spaghetti noodles. So I'm going to sit here and fight with those for a little bit, and then we can finally get the figure out. Ugh. While I'm doing this, who else likes the stupid spaghetti noodles? Like. I can understand that they're fun for like wrapping up cards or anything, or like wrapping accessories to a figure if you're trading it. But other than that, I don't like, I do not like the spaghetti noodles. Alright. So I finally got the spaghetti noodles done. Luckily for me, there was only two in, uh, like, one wrapped around his torso, the other one wrapped around his arm. So, no big deal. Alright, so... Oh. First thing first, the box that came out and flying at me. I believe this is his extra skin collection. Let's put him over there. And I also noticed that there is a check... I'm going to assume that there is a pro this is a product list. 
that flies. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, nope, never mind. Uh, apparently this is like Club Mez, I think that's what it is. And it's like a mail order subscription thing. Um, sign up now to join Club Mez. Membership is only 40 bucks. Uh, membership members will receive quarterly newsletter, a Club Mez members only exclusive figure. Original Mezco gear and decoder ring that will grant access to contests and giveaway and much, much more. Why wait? The roach is waiting. So apparently, uh, Mezco is, uh, cockroaches. But anyway, that's kind of interesting. So, here we have the, uh, gold member figure. Let me, like, fix his arm real quick here. Is his arm, like, perma bug? Yeah, it is. Okay. We have a nice little gold member here. He likes gold. Yeah. Um, he does have a hole in his hand here that I am assuming that the peg of the scar box or like the skin box go in. Nice snug fit. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, points of articulation. His head doesn't move. That's that's kind of unfortunate. He has a nice movement in his arms. Uh, shoulder blade is okay. His jacket, I believe, is his jacket does in a little bit. It does inhibit his uh, rotation in the arm a little bit. He has a he has rotation in the cuff of his arm. A single elbow joint. His arm does move swivel, but that's just about it for the arms. He has a slight, like, he has a slight pelvic torso uh, movement, nothing major, so not the best for posing. And as far as legs, his, uh, he can go exorcist. Like his leg does rotate, and that's just about it. Like his, it's more of a statue at this point than a figure. Something that uh, front butt would like. And anyway, guys, I'm going to try to pose him real quick. So like the, some of the basic poses, you're gonna have him holding like his scrap box here. Or it's flashbox, whatever this is. I don't really know. And have him having his hand out like that, like raw or cursory ulster powers. Uh, let's put the figure on its stand. Maybe. Please. Alright guys, he fits nicely on the stand, like, really nice, unfortunately the stand is, like I said, it is way too big for one figure, so, other than that, like, he is a good figure, all in all, I would, like, if you guys do have him, I would recommend just keeping him all on your wall, um, he really, like, there's nothing, like, too spectacular about him, so don't go home about it, like, oh, uh, I got the gold member figure, meh. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I am Fro. You guys have been fantastic. This has been Gold Member. I will see you all later on. Peace out, guys.